So in this part, I want to talk about the first song is by So You and Kwang Jong Yol with their song Lean On Me. Okay. Yeah, not to be confused with that Major Lazer song. Um, is that song called Lean On Me? Yeah, I think so. Or it has Lean in it. I think it's called Lean On Me. I think so. I want to say yeah. I don't know. I like that song though a lot. I don't know if it's because I saw it in that twerking video first, but I really like that song. I don't know what it is about those twerking videos, yeah, Steven. It's good. Um, but of course, So You, who is now known, of course, as the queen, queen of, of collabs. collabs. Um, pretty much, if she sings in a collab, it's either going to be number one or it's going to raise you from 100 of, you know, probably unknown to 50. You know, yeah. she her collabs are on point, of course. Yeah. Her She's previous got a ones. collab power. She got that, that sum, mm -hmm. right? She got that Urban Zakapa one, the... Mm -hmm. Tum is the Korean yeah. name. She's got a whole bunch of them. Uh, but So You uh, uh, sings with uh, Kwon Chong Yol, who mm -hmm. is the lead singer for 10 Centimeters, oh, which is a very, very famous, him? yeah, very, very famous indie band in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, but they're they're probably the most mainstream the indie, indie quote unquote indie band it's in Korea. It's them or now. Yeah, but 10, 10 Centimeters is really famous. Everybody really knows popular, who they are. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyways, they're an indie band. Uh, and like, while I don't think this is the best uh, collaboration so you done, definitely, not. definitely um, not. I still think it's a, uh, you know, as generic as I can put it, uh, a good time. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah, I I, I think uh, it's a good song as well. But for me, the best part is where they are kind of working off each other mm -hmm. and they're harmonizing their voices. Mm -hmm. I do want a little bit more ad lib from mm -hmm. them during that time because. They have maybe like two or three instances where they kind of merge their voices together. And all three of them are pretty much the same thing. I think they probably recorded it and just yeah. spliced it three times. Mm. Um, I, I feel like the last time there should really be some sort of ad-libbing going on yeah. or just something something different. Something more duetty and not just two people in separate recording booths kind of. Yeah put together i mean i don't think it's as like i've heard some songs that are really bad where like the guy and the girl never ever sing at the same time mm. um so you know they do sing together and they do play off each other's i think their voices match very well yeah. i think that's the power of so you is that her voice matches a lot of people yeah um it's a very it's a good contrasting voice like yeah. it on its own i think it's not really all that good to be honest mm. um me and you were saying that so you is a good singer but um, She's not a great singer. We wouldn't put her as our main vocal for a group, yeah. right? I mean, when you, maybe if, I mean, I think she could be just depends what group. Depends what group, and, right? Uh, she she is just uh, an immensely immensely good kind of support singer. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 her voice, Matt, like the dude's voice, is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. It's pretty good. Um, now the music video is is pretty just. I don't really even really understand hair. the music video. Like, I don't know if 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 the so you and, and and the ten centimeter guy are the same person or not. But like, she's wearing like his glasses. It's weird. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. But so you don't look like so you in this music so, video. So um, I watched this music video kind of like half and half because at, I think by the time I watched this one, I was kind of just like Ugh, brain frazzled from all the music videos, and I did not know that that was so you. I didn't either. She looks so different. I saw the thumbnail and I was like, is this another girl named Soyu? Because I'm I'm sure there's another there right? are I'm, there's girl definitely named other Soyu. girl that are Soyu. I'm like, this doesn't look like her. I this looks like a girl that I swear is from like nine music or you know, some other yeah. group. And um, sometimes she kind of looks like Park Jimin from 15 and. She looks like sometimes she looks like a plastic doll. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes she just doesn't look human. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, but you know, I, as far as I know, and looking through the comments and, and reading everything I could find, like, that is that her. That is so you. That's and so sometimes you. it's like, oh, that is so you. And sometimes it's like, who I that? cannot fucking, who that? Who, who you? That Chingu? Who you, girl? Um, but, you know, that, that doesn't distract from the song. Like, the song is, is, is still great. It's good. I, mean, it's good. I don't want to say great. I want great. to say great. Don't say great. The song is good. Yeah. Remember when you used to call every song great, Josh? No, I, I used to call every song good. No, you used to say every song was great. Let's go back and listen. Play the tapes. Play the tape. Oh, we don't have a, no, we don't a dedicated, have a per dedicated editor to, to, yeah. to, to, to find I'm pretty part. sure I, I would say every song is good. 
No. Like, well, how do you feel about the song? Oh, I think it's good. No, you'd be like, oh, it's it's, it's great. Like, I really liked it. I, so I really remember I, you saying that. Because I never say great. I feel like it was great. You'd be like, it's really great. Well, maybe you said really good. Yeah, I would say really good. I don't say great. Yeah, but, you know, either way, if you say everything's really good, what's your, your really good is like my meh, maybe. Yeah. But you know what? That doesn't matter because it's now a year and a half later and I think we've evened out our definitions. Yeah. I, I think even at one point, Steven was more optimistic about songs than I was. I was True. a lot more. Maybe like six months ago. Not and, even that long, I, I don't think. Well, well maybe not. Yeah, well, it, it's months. really since we came back from summer, yeah. our summer thing that we really evened out, I think. Yeah. Because uh, we've been agreeing an awful lot and it's weird. I mean, we used to agree a good amount, but kind of in a different way. No, I fucking used to hate you, man. No, I'm... Yo, weak ass game! What? I, I was talking about us agree about songs. Oh, you gonna make this a personal attack? No, I'm not attacking <laughs> you personally. Personal fully. Um, but anyways, that's so you. Of course, the Queen. I mean, this song is super high on the charts. Um, I'm go. I'm about to attack somebody personal fully. <laughs> Actually, this is Stevens. Well, you know, let, let's attack, attack some other group personally because that's what we're gonna do in the next song. That's what I meant. We're gonna attack somebody per perfectly. Per perfuffles-ly. Perfusly. Yeah. Per uh, purposely. All right. So, uh, for all you chingus who who listen to our podcast on a regular basis, you know how much we love Got Seven. Uh, they are a a beacon of hope in a group of boy groups that we feel are very generic. But Got Sevens, if you do, I don't want to do. I don't want. <laughs> that was to. a really weird transition, but I, yeah, I I don't want to do any of it. Um, but you know what? Got Seven has a trend of this because we're like we're like we really like the first song. Uh, uh, a A. No, they had a different song before A. Doesn't matter. Right. They had like two. They had like That's one song that I thought was that, okay. Then they had A. Then they had A. And then, then they had, they had like, the pile of shit ha, 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 song. Ha, ha, yeah. Oh my god, that song was <laughs> fucking <laughs> terrible. And then they had Just Right, which is one of my favorite songs so far this year. And then they had this one. If you do, this one's not as bad as. It's not as bad as we. It's not as bad as we make it out to be. But this song sounds like a recycled two p.m. song. It does. So much. It really does. Yeah. I am not, not a good 2PM song. Everything about it screams not so great 2PM song. Except for... Except for random... Not team. enough sexy. <laughs> oh. Not enough sexy. I was going to say, except for like... Sometimes the dance move is so 2PM, yeah. and then there's like a rando teen top. Like teen top yeah, wannabe. Like, Let's flail legs! Flail legs! Like flail it! Flail as hard as you for can. For all you... Uh, I don't know what teen top fans are called. Uh, uh, teen Tibbles? Teens on top? Uh, teen pregnancy. <laughs> That's not it. Oh. Uh, anyways, te te teeny top boppers, fans, teeny boppers. You guys should know that your opas, they like the leg dancies. Yeah. <laughs> they really like the legs, <laughs> which is which is fine. <laughs> Sometimes it looks really River good. River dancing. Sometimes it looks not great, at Some, least in yeah, our opinion. Sometimes, it, if the tempo was like too high, it doesn't look. It doesn't look great. great. It just kind of looks like they're just like. Um, kind of like cartoons where like people are running and it's just kind of like a circle. Like Squidward like in, a... in Spongebob? I guess. That's what I picture. Like an uh, octopus with like eight legs kind of like... No, I meant like, you know, uh, like Roadrunner. Like he only has two legs but it moves in so fast and it kind of like, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, see, but for me that goes in a circle. And like, that's not what I picture when I picture Teen Top. Teen Top's like, kind of looks like they have like eight legs and they're trying to figure out what the fuck they're, they're, they're trying to stand on. But... Doesn't matter. All that matters is this song. It, it's it's I, when I heard it a second time, it wasn't as bad as when I heard it the first time. But, but disappointing. Like, so disappointed. Like like I thought, just right was just. It was just right. It was quirky. It was different from every <laughs> other. <laughs> eh, eh, high five. Can we high yeah. five? Um, you can't high five because of the sound. It might be weird. Sound. Um, but you know, I, I thought it was it was a perfect way to differentiate themselves from the other groups. The music video was awesome, mm -hmm. and like this was just, just boring generic. and generic, so and generic. like, like it, it really, really, really sounded like a a, a recycled two p.m. song. Yeah, very like, oh, like I'm a so, not fun two p.m. I'm so angsty, kind of. Yeah, like, I'm to trying to be kind of sexy too. I'm trying to be kind of uh, sexy, but like legs. not there yet. We we didn't kick figure it legs. out. 
XQLA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it, honestly, I'm sure there's a lot of people that really like this song, you know, but like... Of course. You know, fans are going to love their, their, their opas or whatever, but like, I just... Not good. Better than Hajima, Hajima, had the auto tune, right? But like, how did I come down? <laughs> you think about your blood pressure, Sorry, Steven. Man. I got think about your blood pressure. I got bad blood pressure. Uh, my nose blood starts blood bleeding when, when I hear this <laughs> song. <laughs> uh, and that at red light, she's like, oh, that's, that's bleeding from the ears. That's uh, <laughs> it's, cool. uh, it's, it's not that bad. It's not nearly that bad. <laughs> but it was just so disappointing, you know. Yeah. Um, so disappointing because their last song was so good. Yeah, at least for I, th I think if GOT7 wasn't a, a group that we kind of follow and kind of have like pretty high expectations for, we wouldn't be, I guess, this harsh on them because this is just any other... But 2PM is st would still be a thing and this would still yeah. be a yeah, this not great 2PM This would be a 2PM song. PM song, a Team Top song, maybe like a Vix song maybe even, right? It could be like... That's the 2PM. It, scre really it really screams. Fix. It really screams 2 p.m. But is what I'm trying to get at is that it's very kind of generic and it didn't yep. really do anything for us. Didn't think it was very catchy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's really sad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Got Seven fans. I got seven. Um, we know, of course, they're super, super popular internationally. Mm -hmm. Still not that popular in Korea, but strange. Um, yeah, sorry. This is not the song that's going to break him in. All right. Mm. Uh, you know, if anything, just put Jackson in more shows and he'll try and make up for it. Yeah, he'll make some money for you guys. Yeah. Um, moving on, uh, we have, of course, uh, the a brand new girl group. You know, what? they don't come out that often. Only like once every two minutes. Yeah, yeah, four minute. Um, I don't know why I did that. Um, but uh, so this is a new group from, I think, MBK, which is uh, Tiara's uh, company. Yeah. Um, and this girl yes. group is called Dia, or D-I-A, yeah. and their debut song is called Somehow. Yeah, people in Korea, I don't know if you guys know this, but people in Korea, they say like, diamond, like diamond. Mm. So like, this might be short for like, diamond. I think they even say diamond in the song. Do so, they? I think. Surprise. Uh, surprising. Uh, but anyway, so Dia, uh, I don't, again, I don't know much about them. No. Um, but, uh, you know, for a debut group, not bad, not bad. Uh, I think, you know, some people like there's like two train, uh, two, uh, kind of trains schools of thought. of thought. Okay. Not trains of thought. It's trains on different Buses paths of going thought. from different schools. Okay. Buses of thought. Two different schools of thought. One is like when uh, something new comes out, like you naturally compare it to other things because yeah. that gives you a point of reference. Yeah. And the other school of thought is you shouldn't compare them to another group because that's unfair expectations. Mm -hmm. You should just evaluate them on yeah. their own. Yeah. Um, I see absolutely no problem with comparing them to other <coughs> people because that's how shit works. You do that for yeah. everything. You do that for movies, yeah. you do that for TV shows. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's wrong to say, oh, they sound like so-and-so. Now, I think it yeah. might be wrong to say, oh, they sound like so-and-so, fuck these bitches, right? Or they're exactly the That's, same. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or like, I, oh, they sound like, you know, like we, we just did it now. We were like, got seven songs, sounds, sounds like, like a shitty 2PM, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, like, there's nothing wrong if we're like, man, Got7, this sounds like a great 2PM yeah. song, right? Sounded yeah. like a great 2PM song, yeah. that, that's another matter, yeah. right? Because let's, um, let's be honest, like, a lot of groups, especially in K-pop music, they have a certain sound. Sure. We, I mean, producers, yeah. singers, they all have a certain sound, right? They better, or else they'll just be generic with generic, right? Yeah. Well. Um, but, uh, so Diamond, or, uh, sorry, Dia, Dia. Uh, this song is like the ultimate love child of G-Friend. Me gustas tu, me gustas tu. Um, and uh, A-Pink. A-Pink. And uh, AOA minus the Brave Song. <laughs> AOA, kind of minus, AOA kind of minus the catchiness. Yeah, I'm still uh, so like there are very specific sections in the song where it's like holy shit, this oh, is the G friend part. Oh, this G friend part. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the boring A pink part. Yeah. And oh, here's the AOA kind of uh, we, catchy part. We we should clarify the boring recent A pink. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Well, A pink has some of our favorite songs. No, no, no. Yeah. Mr. Chu. Yeah. Great. L U V E. Eh, LUV, you know, the thing is, LU, LUV and Remember are perfect examples of, of boring A-Pink because the choruses are, are the entire... so... 
Well, the choruses are the entire song. Are the the so, verses. Uh, what's what's the word for so uh, dominant? Yeah, 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 dominant. yeah. Yeah. The choruses are just completely forgettable. Just yeah. not even great singing. Just kind mm -hmm. of very boring nonsense. Mm -hmm. And that's what we mean by the aping boring part. Yeah. Um, the it's, choruses are pretty hot sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I so me and Steven kind of want to talk about this song. Kind of didn't want to talk about the song because one, we wanted to say like, hey, it, it is a pretty good song. It mm -hmm. has like parts in it that we do like, uh, mainly the G friend parts. I and, like the AOA minus a brave song part. Yeah, but I I like the G friend parts, and we both kind of didn't really like the A pink boring part. Nope. Um, which but, we could fast forward. Yeah, which is kind of really interesting uh, with girl groups nowadays because I feel like there's just been a, a surge of groups that kind of like slipped under our noses mm. like we, we've known about them but they're kind of just like oh yeah they've been there like G friend lovelies right and now Dia I, I think it's I always like, liked lovelies as Josh knows my candy, candy jelly love Da, 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 da. yeah I mean I I was down with yeah. and we were down with with G friend with uh, anal bead with Anal Beat. I, I, yeah. I like him. He, he, <laughs> he finally came around on Anal yeah. and Magustas too. And even a little bit Lovelies. A little bit Lovelies. He came I around. I, I don't know what happened. I think I heard it too many times in the streets. And then I was just like, oh, what's this song? No! Yeah. Still, still know nothing about Laboom. Sorry, Laboom. Uh, still know nothing about... See, all these groups... A lot of other random groups that I don't know. All about. these groups, not quite A-Pink. Not quite... Uh, AOA. Not quite Girls' Generation. Not quite Girls' Generation. Mm -hmm. They're all kind of just like... Do, but a, they... do a little bit cutesy, do a little bit of dancing, doing a little bit of fresh, doing a little bit of school. But the know? thing is, usually within the song, it's one... one thing. One... one uh, theme. One thing. Yeah. But this Dia song, there are three distinct parts. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah. this is this part where they're like, we're acting really cutesy. G-Friend. G-Friend. This is this part where yeah. we're like, aping and we're kind of staring to the Girls camera. Next door, door next we're door. Fresh. And then there's the, we're going to shake our ass in your shake face. Shake our asses. Anyways, we're wearing part. like, matching like, I don't know. hockey jerseys. They're wearing a lot of matching things. In this. I don't know. But I do have to say, damn, there are a lot of girls in this group that are cute. So many girls that are cute. Uh, oh, I, I, I will say like, like they, whoever directed this and kind of cut alert, like they didn't use the the foggy filter that G Friend mm. and Lovelies uses. Yeah, the or a lot of, like of or the A Pink uses. Tinty, like yeah, the, the the angel flossy. The Instagram filter that a lot of like a lot of groups use that filter. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, Icon's video uses that filter where it's yeah. very you know it makes every everybody seem like their Kinda skin glowy. is smoother and they glow and they're yeah. lighter. Right. If you a, look out for it, you'll know. Yeah, it, it's in like 80% of music videos, right? Yeah. But like this one didn't use it. They used really, uh, like it was v very in HD. Sharp. It's very sharp yeah. because of that, you know, which is something in the last podcast. I don't know whether it's the after show or the regular show. Well, we mentioned I, it. Yeah, yeah, we mentioned how like when you get a nice HD camera, it doesn't look like it was shot with a fucking cell phone and it wasn't, it doesn't have a shitty Instagram filter. Like it, it can make amazing. your video look so much better. It looks, the production value. Yeah, really like it probably wasn't even like that much more than in a regular video. Like yeah. they were just filming in random parts of Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah it's probably less work. Um, probably cost more money, I guess, to fly, fly to Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. But it's like maybe twenty members. Yeah. I can't count how many members. I don't are. know how many. But eight, maybe, maybe nine. But I think maybe four of them are like really cute. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, I mean, but super young. Probably twelve. We don't know. But we didn't look it up. Super young. You shouldn't look it up because I had an awful experience with looking up one like a Korean actress's. Uh, What's her name? Um, Park Bo Young? No, no, no. no, no. no. Kim Soo Hyun. Kim oh, Soo Hyun. from uh, high school? From uh, school t 2015. Uh, school um, to, oh, she's like 16 or something, right? Yeah, spoiler alert. If you've watched school 2015, you thought the main girl was cute, which I did. And she's I looked 16. her up. She was 15 when that was shot. Oh, mama. She's 16 now. Ooh, mama boo. Fucked up. I'm going to talk more about that in the after show, maybe. Um, but, uh, I yeah, remember. so, like, Dia, I mean, like, it, it, again, I think the theme of this is, like, it's, it's not bad, um, but I, I really kind of wonder what, th what theme they're gonna go with, right? Because, like, yeah. really, right now, they're just, like, they're, like, shotgunning it, right? They're, like, let's try all three of them, you know? Yeah. And maybe one will stick, but. Yeah, because I think we, we clicked on, like, uh, 
a, a performance because for some reason this YouTube is blocked in our country. It's blocked in Korea. <sighs> this so, is the official video on their official channel. Yeah, it so, is blocked in Korea. So we watched like a performance and they were wearing like the the girlfriend G kind of outfits. G-Friend outfits, yeah. 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 Uh, G-Friend outfits. Maybe they do one in the G-Friend outfits, one in the AOA outfits, and one in the A-Pink outfits. Who knows? Who knows? We don't um, know. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, we're in the middle of part two. Mm -hmm. This is when we want to thank everybody who listens. And of course, the best way to... to, to support us. To support us and what we, we give the most thanks for are the people that leave us uh, reviews on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Now we know not everyone can leave iTunes reviews. Maybe yeah, you listen to us on Android yeah. or whatever, but you know, if you do listen on iTunes, uh, you can leave us a review. And uh, since last episode, we had one new, only one. One. Only one. But a great one nonetheless. It's by Lauren Elise LL. And uh, her review in part says, uh, I subscribed to this podcast a few months ago, but I just started listening a couple days ago. And man, have I been missing out. They cover a huge range of songs from popular hits to super random tracks I've never heard of and now love. And uh, if you like K-pop at all, give this podcast a listen. Keep up the good work, y'all. I like that you wrote y'all. You from the South, girl? She might be from the South. I'm from the South. I use y'all all the time. Students are confused, um, yeah. but uh, thank you, Lauren, for leaving us this kind, kind, kind review. Yeah. Um, now we're, you know, in the last couple of episodes, we've been getting like one each time. And while it's yeah. great, you know, we don't want to force anybody. My hope, my dream, okay? Yeah. My dream, it's not, not a, it's not a big dream. You know, I'm not dreaming to get a million YouTube subscribers because that ain't happening. Just dream big, um, Steven. But my, 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 I don't dream big, all right? I've been. I've been let down. I've been let down right, too right. many times in it's life. It's all right, all right. Just let them know what um, your dream is, yeah. big guy. My small dream is that we can get a hundred reviews, um, or a hundred star ratings, I guess. Yeah. Uh, someone who left a, leaves us a star rating. I don't care if it's five, I don't care if it's four, I don't care if it's three. I mean, I'll care a little bit if it's one, two, or three. But, you know, tell us why. Yeah. But, like, I really hope we can get a hundred. Right now we have 69. I didn't doubt... It's not on purpose, no. right? But we have 69 right yeah, now. No control over that. Yeah, no control. I'm hoping by the end of the year, by the end of 2015, we can get to 100. Now, it's taken us, taken me, two and a half years to get only up to 69. Yeah, I mean, we're on um, episode 77 now. That's and less that's than one per less episode. Less than one per episode. Um, and that's just star ratings. I think we only have like 50... Three actually written reviews, and we're so happy that fifty-two of you guys reached did out it. to us and um, said something. But some of our, I mean, some of our podcasts have you know four or five thousand people download it. So it, you know, that uh, one percent, <laughs> that one percent is, yeah, uh, you know, you're the best percent. But we're hoping we can get another one percent. We just have another one percent of our downloads uh, leave us a review. Just we can get to a hundred very easily. Just one percent. Um, so we hope you guys do that. Uh, I also want to mention again, uh, EssentialKpop.com, mm -hmm. which is kind of uh, the, the side site and the site that I love to use now because I can prepare for this podcast in five minutes when it used to take an hour of scrolling through all K-pop. Happy birthday um, to so-and-so. Yeah. So-and-so uh, might be dating. So-and-so. So and mother murdered incestual siblings. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing all K-pop? Korean. Grandpa hit by car. <laughs> by drunk driver. It's like okay, Jesus. Um, but we mentioned the last podcast. So uh, essential podcast. It's a place where you can go just if you want to know what music videos came out today or in the last week since you've been gone. Just check essentialkpop.com. You you have a really I think a very pretty, very simple place to figure out what music videos were released. And I have four wonderful, wonderful people helping me upload stuff every day. So while it's not up. It's not updated like hourly. It's updated, you know, four times, probably three or four times a day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I got new logos. I got new logos from the wonderful uh, Ali Betwixt. Um, so I love you so much. We looked at them and they were amazing. Yes. And they so if you go to essentialkpop.com now, it looks so much better. Um, so, you know, go there, look at the, the thing. It's great. Use it. Please use it. Because it does cost me money. And while it makes my life easier, um, you know, if, if me and 10 other people are the only people using it, I'm going to have to shut it down again. Like um, what we had to do what with K-pop releases. releases. Uh, but you know, I have help now. It's amazing. 
You should check it out. You should use it. Essential I recommend K-pop. you use it. Steven recommends you use it. Even if you do check all K-pop, this is the place to kind of watch music videos and find them. Yeah, I mean, just links to YouTube videos. Like, it's just a good place. Like, you got five minutes, you're, you're taking a shit in the morning, right? You're mm -hmm. giving me morning poo-poo. Uh, just check this list and be like, oh, like this and this and this came out. Like, mm -hmm. you can still go to all K-pop and if you are if you if you care about that kind of other stuff, that's fine. Like, I don't really care, but if mm -hmm. you care, that's good on you. Um, just to give it as a music video filter. Yeah, it's, re it's really a nice tool. Mm. Um, and uh, you know, you know what else is a nice tool, aside from my penis? Um, my nuts in your mouth. <laughs> just the, you supposed to back me up on that. Me just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like froze and said my nuts in your mouth. Um, you know what's great, better than nuts in your mouth? That would be an odd one. <laughs> Nice. Great segue, <laughs> Steven. Great segue. Yeah, it, it, you uh, know. Yeah, as, as many of you know, uh, audible.com sponsors our web, or podcast, I should say. Our webcast. Our web thing, internet. Our web, meme. bit by bit, uh, transfer to your brain. Yeah, and so uh, Audible uh, offers a free trial uh, for 180,000 audiobooks. So if you guys want to go check those out, you can go to Audible. Doc, audibletrial.com slash T-W-I-K. Uh, get your free audiobook, 30-day uh, free trial. Go check it out. Yeah. If you use that link, it, it directly supports us. You know, we get a little bit of something whenever yeah. anybody signs up. It's been actually a very long time since anyone's yeah. signed up. Uh, yeah. Some people click on it every day. Some people clicks on that link and uses the link. Nobody really signs up. I mean, yeah. we, we totally understand. I probably wouldn't have done that uh, when I was younger. Uh, but it's a totally free audiobook. As long as you cancel before the 30 days is over, mm -hmm. like, you don't lose that audiobook. That audiobook mm -hmm. is still yours. Mm -hmm. And there are some amazing, amazing audiobooks. Uh, right now I'm reading, uh, uh, I'm reading, um, uh, oh my God, what's the song? What's the, what's the book called? Uh, uh, it's called the, you know, okay, so there's the, th the Millennium books, the, yeah. uh, the girl who, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the girl who, uh, the girl who, what is it called? The tattoo, the girl yeah. with the dragon tattoo. There you go. There Fuck. You go. I, I was Fuck like, me. this one. Yeah. yeah. Right, there's a I movie see. about that. We had that, you saw that. Girl with the dragon tattoo, there's two more books. Girl yeah. like in the hornet's nest, yeah. and there's one more, I forget. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I read them a long, long time ago, in mm -hmm. uh, um, probably five, six years ago. But they finally released a fourth book yeah. by a different author because the original author died. Well, he, yeah. he passed away before those books were even published, but yeah. um, another author uh, uh, picked up the series and so far I'm reading it and it's it's not the same you know because it's, Cause it's a different exactly author different, yeah. and he's he, he's not really trying to ape you know what the original uh, author was doing but like if you if you like girl with the dragon tattoo um this fourth book which <laughs> can't remember the title. I can't, I can't remember the title you know what you know let's do this. i'm gonna look it up let's do this i'm gonna look it up josh i'll fill in the time fill in, fill in some stuff um so yeah f so the the the, uh, the any books, for yeah, Audible. any books, any books you like, bro. Yeah, um, I mean, I do like a lot of books, but I do like rereading a lot of old books old that books. I've read. Yeah, um, so not too long ago, I reread Harry Potter series, like the whole series from beginning to end. Uh, obviously, you can find those on there. I've um, listened. I've listened to uh, when I when I was you know, you know. I'm trying to think how old I was when I first got it. I, I didn't get into Harry Potter in the first or second book mm. i think i think it was a, when the third book came out we got as a christmas present like my, my aunt i think gave us the first two books yeah and me and my sister read them both i think in one night um and uh like you know harry potter books are coming out sporadically yeah. and uh we one time we went to a trip to visit our cousins in california and our cousins are, are younger so they, they couldn't really read but we would use, actually we would use, uh, her parents would use audiobooks to kind of read to them, you mm -hmm. know, kind of when they couldn't. And one of them w was Harry Potter and like, it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. I think yeah. I, 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 I read and listened to the audiobooks for almost all the Harry Potters um, because yeah. it's, it's, it's Harry yeah. fucking Potter and they got some really good voice talent. Yeah. But um, what I'm trying to, to reread again is uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good book. Thanks for the fish. Secret, secret to life. Yeah. It's 40, 42. Mm -hmm. um, so the book, the book's called The Girl in the Spider's Web. 
-hmm. is the fourth uh, book in the Millennium. Uh, I guess it used series, to be a I guess. used to be a trilogy, but yeah, it's yeah. a series now. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's Audible. Please check them out. Books are cool. Um, if, if there's a book that you like recently and you want to tell us about it, because I'm always always looking for actually new book uh, yeah. book things. Um, because I really like I don't have as much time as I used to 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 just sit down and read. But uh, I really do like reading. Preferably, I like uh, I, I I don't like hard sci-fi. I Nerd. like I like. <laughs> I like light sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, um, yeah, not super heavy-duty science fiction, but, like, kind of yeah, technology kind of... Like, yeah. Like, I, I don't read, like, the Star Wars books or, like, stuff like that, yeah. but I read, like... Like, The Martian was a good example. Movie's yeah. coming out. I, I'm, I really want to read be the book amazing. before the movie comes out, but... You should. It's great. I, I read that book in like two days. It's really. It's, it's not. Really, it's not really very. Fast. It's really good. It's really gripping, and it's not that fast. Mm. And the the reading level of the book is not that hard. Okay. Um, give it a shot. But, uh, anyway, let's move on. Should give it a shot too. Um, give it a shot. Audibletrial.com/slash tw. Okay. Right. For those nuts in your mouth. Yeah. Is it my turn? No, I think it's my turn. I want to say. What was the last one? Dia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's turn. my turn. So the next um, song. That's which is gonna choo choo on the hate train is uh, by our girl, not really our girl, I just say that, Jessie with Sen Anni. She's not gonna be our girl after this. She's not gonna like us. I mean, she's not gonna watch this, but if she, she gonna, does, I'll be fucking scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I'm so scared of her, but not in like a, like afraid kind of way. Just kind of I'm like. A little afraid. Like if I, if I totally understand if I was sitting in a room with her, like I would cower in fear from that bitch face of hell. <laughs> like she got that bitch face. And she knows, she knows she got that. That bitch face made her famous in Korea, right? That, true, that's yeah. That's what happened, right? It wasn't her amazing rapping that got her famous. It Dead was, it her was pretty rapping. much her being a bitch and like yelling at people on, on Unprinted Rap Star. Um, but anyways, yeah, so Jessie, she's actually a singer, um, but yeah. she's in a group, I don't know if they do anything anymore, but she's in a don't group called so. Lucky J, yeah. but, um, of course she got famous and I'm pretty rap star. So now she's doing all her solo now stuff. Now she's doing all this stuff. She showed up last, that I remember, in that JYP, oh, uh, yeah, she was featured right. in, uh, JYP's, Who's Your Mama? Uh, Who's Your Mama song. Dee, bee, bee, dee, dee. Yep. Dee, very, dee, dee. also a very, very, very popular song. Um, but Jessie, of course, um... I've talked about her in the past. I've talked about her in probably the after show also when talking about yep. the rap star. But I never liked Jessie. No. Um, I, I think she has the benefit, and it's a really good benefit, of growing up in America. Because she she has that American, attitude, that American, American swag. swag. As awful as it is to say that, she got that swag. And she got that American swag. Yeah. She, she, know, she knows how to be tough. She knows how to give that bitch face. Um, she knows how she, she knows, knows how to she's her heard hip-hop. She's been around people that are hip-hop, you know, not Korean hip-hop, but hip hippity hop, right? Like the origins. Yeah. And um so she always has a leg up when it comes to Yeah. To even though her rapping's not great. Even though her yeah. rapping's not great. Her rapping is not good. So her lyrics not yeah. good. Jesse is like the epitome of rapping persona that Koreans try to emulate, I guess. Yeah. And her rapping just does not back that up. Yeah. Um, but now we know that because like she raps a lot in English. And so now now we're like, holy shit, these lyrics are fucking terrible. You know, they're terrible. Horrible. Like they're not great. But for Koreans, they just hear the voice and they hear the, the confidence and they hear the English and they're like, holy shit, this girl's fucking fire. And we're shit, like, this is bravado. Yeah, like, holy mother. Like, I, like you know, like, Cheetah's got power, but mm -hmm. Jesse, like, Cheetah's fierce, but Jesse's got that, as racist as it is to say this, but she the got, Koreans will say it, she got that blackness. She got, I was going to say grit. I oh, I, I was going to go full racist because right. I've heard Korean people say that. They're like, she got that blackness. Okay. Um, All right. That hip hippity hop, um, and and she does. Like she, I think she does that very well. I think her she uses her persona very well. But this song, you know, even she says that I'm pretty rap star. Like I ain't a rapper. Like I'm a singer, right? And the other girls are like, bitch, you on a fucking rap show, right? Like that ain't no excuse, you know. But like, Uri Tina Anya, this is a competition. competition. And then she spends the remaining parts of that series. I love you. I love you. We're best friends. We're best friends. 
It's, it's I'm except, not for, a uh, bitch. except for Jeevan. She, or uh, she doesn't like Jeevan. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, anyways, so like this song, not good. Yeah, it's like. I think her voice doesn't match the song. She's like, at the, all. She's like the female J Park. It's like everything we hate about Rippity Rap, J Park. Park. Yeah. But I mean, the thing is, as much as I hate that J Park, that he J Park can better. still rap. Yeah. Like, he can still rap. It's just, I don't like that persona. Mm -hmm. But, like, she, it's even worse for her because she can't rap. She can't rap and she's trying that persona. Stop it. <coughs> oh my God. Jesse, stop it if you're watching this. Stick to singing. You have such a beautiful singing voice. Yeah. And, um, please don't kill us. No, you scare me him. so much. You can kill him. He little bitch. I am a bitch. <laughs> Fuck, she's scary, man. Fuck. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, that's, that's Jesse's, uh, what, Sen, Sen Unni? Sen Unni. What does that mean? Uh, I mean, strong Unni. Okay, strong, like, okay, strong older sister, kind of. Yeah. Um, all right, well, that's, uh, Jesse. I, I'm sh there are a lot of people that I feel are really like that song because I really think, yeah, that bravado is very, very rare in Korea, especially a woman with that kind of bravado. You know, the only other woman that I think has that kind of oomph is um, Tiger JK's wife. Yumi Rae. Yumi Rae. But again, yeah. why? She grew up in America, right? Like, yeah. that's that's but, a great benefit. But on the other hand, I, I do... But know, Yumi Rae is a better rapper. I do know a couple people, Koreans, that just cannot stand Jesse as well. Uh, they, they think that she's... Uh, because a lot of Koreans... Okay, this is going to be kind of a mini tangent, but st stay with me. Uh, a lot of Koreans, when they hear other Koreans speak like English really fluently, like in public, mm. they feel kind of like, uh, not necessarily intimidated, but it's like, oh, look at those people like trying to show off that they speak English so well. And that's the feeling that they have for Jesse. They're like, why is Jesse using so much English? She's just trying to show off that she can speak English mm. and she can rap in English. Mm. And that doesn't sit with a lot of people actually. No, I mean, I totally understand. I, I, I don't know if I've, I feel like I've told you. I don't know if I've told it on the podcast before, but like, like one time with, with, uh, with, with, uh, uh, my ex-girlfriend, uh -huh. I, I didn't want to say that. I was like scared yeah. to say that. Uh, I stutter so much. Uh, I was yeah. like, what should I call uh, her? It's been so long. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, anyways. Uh, but we were at a restaurant, and I, you know, she's it's, Korean, and, and I am not, but to everybody in Korea, I look Korean. Yeah, because um, Asian. Because I'm Asian, and the whole thing Asians look alike, fucking even Asian people can't it's tell no true. goddamn difference, okay? Even Asian people. Um, so everyone thinks I'm Korean. So we're talking in English, because I don't know any Korean, and she overheard the, the group, it was a guy and a girl next to us, like, bad-mouthing us. And I was like, what? What were they bad-mouthing us about? And she was saying, they were asking each other, why are these motherfuckers speaking in English? They should just speak in Korean. Like, why are they, why are they acting all high and mighty by speaking yeah. in English? Because um, uh, uh, speaking English is kind of like... It's like high sign, class. Yeah, it's a sign yeah. of high class because, yeah. one, if you speak English, like, fluently or, like, somewhat fluently, it means you studied abroad. Yeah. Which means money. your parents have money, yeah. and they've probably sent you abroad to study. Yeah. And so, or if you haven't went abroad, then you've probably gone to a really expensive hog one, and really expensive English hog ones, and usually people who go to hog ones are those who are, are more privileged. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like, you know, it, 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 that makes sense to me, you know? That it makes that, sense. That makes, it's wrong, and it's like a stupid human jealousy kind of attribute, but like... Mm. Um, I'm sure there are some asshole douchebag Koreans that actually do just do that, speak in yeah. English just to make themselves feel more important. Or seem like, eh, yeah, I'm so, because and they're ruining it for everybody. But because that culture is is big in Korea as well. Yeah, yeah. The I'm I'm the shit. I mean that's a I got culture brand for everybody. names. That's that's fucking. Uh, yeah. I got brand names. Have you seen Instagram? There are like rich people Instagrams where all and they got millions of followers because people just want to see what rich people's lives are like. Like. Yeah, that's weird. We all shitty, all right? No matter what race we are, we all shitty. Everybody shitty. Everybody shitty. But you know what's not shitty? The next song. At least Josh might think it. I don't think it's shitty, but Josh might. I, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. It's particular. Um, but the next song is by uh, Fairy, which I don't know who he is, but Fairy and Crispy Crunch with their collaboration, Crunchers Bounce.
I can't believe you said all of that with a straight face. I did. Crispy Crunch, uh, the last song that I think we really talked about, Crispy, Tr Crispy Crunch, was a very long time. I don't even know if, I'm sure you were here, but oh, it was uh, Sajang Nim Nice yeah, Shot. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think, think they. Nice shot. It was kind of yeah. like a fish eye, if I remember. Yeah, right. yeah, and they're kind of just messing around and kind of in the golf course. And yeah. it was a very club, very Korean club kind yeah. of fun song. Yeah. And this one is no different. Yeah. Um, but as you said, it's kind of like the Korean Pitbull song, and it it's kind of is. So it's not. It's not lyrically amazing. It's not. It's not trans song. transcendental. Transcendental, but. I like it. it's a fun ass song. It's Steven -ass Steven song. has like this penchant for like just really fun, ridiculous song. Yeah. Uh, case songs, case in point, uh Lip Services Yum Yum. Yeah, yum, 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 yum. I love that song. That was a good one. I should listen to that song. I haven't heard this song in a while. Oh, it's uh please don't listen to it. Now th this song is nothing like that song, but I understand his point, which is like I like fun songs that make me happy and kind of have a good beat and kind of get me up, you know, get me get me pumping, you know. If I pump, <laughs> um, and this song is totally that. Like there's like a kind of a build. It's it's a build up and build up, and I think the the fairy guy kind of sings a little bit. And the crispy crunch rapper is very straightforward, very easy sounding uh, rapper. Um, and then the yeah, and then the chorus kind of hits, and it's you know. You, you might not know this unless you've gone to clubs in Korea, but there's yeah. a very specific Korean night. nightclub sound. sound. And this song is do, 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 yeah. yeah. Any kind of song you go like this to, where like, it's like a really shitty dance. Um, I'm sure there's an English equivalent of that, but I didn't go to many clubs in, in, in America. So. It just sounds like shitty techno. Which is kind of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, it's just, if you want to, and you know, the music video is just dumb. It's just a group of dudes with some very obviously like, paid, uh, paid like models, race models. Yeah. Like, and, and if you don't know what I mean about race models, it's like very plasticky, very specific face and a very specific figure. Mm -hmm. And wearing shirts where like, it's a shirt, but like the boob area is cut out so you can mm -hmm. see the, the cleavage. Mm -hmm. Um, not, you know, I'm not going to say it's bad or anything. Um, but it's just like a fun, like, they're, they, it's not like we going hard fun, you know, but it's like, hey, we but it's like, hey, like we going to get high and we're going to go to the, we're going to get drunk and we're going to go fuck around. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, it's kind of what, what's that Big Bang video where they all kind of get drunk? Um, and they're in the house. We like, uh, to party. we like to party. It's like what that video yeah, yeah. is probably in real life, right? Yeah. No, it's never just five dudes by themselves getting <laughs> drunk, right? Like it's five dudes and like twelve oh, girls, girls, right? Um, uh, kind of skanky girls, right? Like that's what that video probably should be if they weren't Big Bang. And this is kind of that that version of it. You know, it's not quite as cute, and not quite filled with egg yolk, whatever. But um, no, it's, it's more more kind of like. That. It's it's not a horrible song. I just just I just don't like the idea of it. <laughs> you don't like the pitbullness of I it. I don't like I don't like the pitbullness of it. I, I like don't the like the bravado of it, and I just. But I didn't think it was that bravado. It was just like we we're gonna have a good time. It was kind of like Sajin and Nice Shot. It was just like maybe, maybe it's the girls that really kind of set me off. Oh, maybe. I, I I think if they were like they weren't trying to flaunt like oh we got like hot bitches or whatever, then I'd feel maybe a little bit better about it, but it's kind maybe. of like... To be fair, like, uh, when we first saw Mome, we didn't even really like Mome because I really think that video soured us really badly on but that the song. The song is really good. But but when we Dude. first heard it and talked Dude. about it, we didn't Dude. we didn't like it we anywhere close it. to how that. much we like that song now. No, yeah. It's hot fire, that song. <laughs> But yeah. like that video has just trashy girls being trashy, and I think like we eating, really didn't like eating that. sushi off them, like wearing jean jorts. I don't even jean. They weren't even jorts. They were like jean like thongs, 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 jongs, like jongs. jongs. Um, they weren't great. Um, and it was just like boobs in your face, boob boobs in your face, and it was like, all right, heavy makeup, yeah, heavy heavy makeup. Um, yeah. I think this one's a way more fun version of that moment. Like Mome one was oh, like was like me. we in the club. It's raunchy. These all bitches and we raunchy and yeah, shit. Yeah, Mome like, is a little bit raunchy. I'm gonna stick my dick raunchy. in her dickhole, you know. This is not as raunchy. Yeah, this is more like kind of more lighthearted. Yeah. 
I yeah, because Mo is like, I'm gonna get my dick wet. Yeah. And this one was kind of just like, like you probably have a I disease. Got, it's like, I got bitches. Like, <laughs> you know, kind of yeah. Like, and that guy, I actually don't even know who's the guy that's featured in that song? Mo It was a dude. Was it Loco? Rubber Ducky? Duck? Rubber Duck? Isn't it something duck? Something duck? Look it up. It's not Loco. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It's like a, a dude we don't really know. How do you spell Mo M O, I guess. I, That's no. definitely not it. M O M. Try M O M. M O M. A E. Mom. A E. <laughs> oh, M O M M A E. Ugly duck. Uh, ugly duck. Machingu, ugly, ugly duck. duck. And I remember my ugly duck is a scrawny looking motherfucker who's just like, like bitch. Yeah, he kind of looks. He kind of looks like who's that one guy? Like, uh, that's Nono. Who's who's that rapper? We say look cracked out. That's no no. I don't know, man. Is that American? I don't no, know. No, that's Korean. Rappers. That's no no. Yeah, he's really famous for for the phrase "that's no no." I don't know. Obviously, I don't give no fucks about crack. crack look look crack at that. Korean mouth, rapper, man. that's no no. Korean rapper, that's no no. This is a great audio podcast. I know. Here. Sorry. Korean rapper, that's just that's no no. Yeah. Or that's a no no. That's no no. That's no no. There's probably a billion people. Master Wu. Mast, oh, that dude did look like a crack whore. Oh, but I got in trouble when I said that on a reaction video. Why? He looked like a, he looked like a He looked like a crackhead. He was like head, like short buzz cut, blonde hair, gross skinny ass, as fuck. skinny as fuck, gross Teeth ass. nasty. He was wearing grills, like, oh, it's the worst. He was wearing a bucket hat. Like, that dude was a crackhead. Like, he's going to, like, you you leave him in your house for like 30 minutes, he's going to strip the walls for his copper and sell it, you know, that kind of shit. I'm sure he's a nice guy in real life, but. I mean, he's a, he's a grandfather of Korean rap, but he was he's like a crack whore. I mean, plenty of crack whores in America. Why do you have to say crack whore, not crack head? Oh, I don't know. I guess in my head it's always crack whore, but... In my head it's always crack head. When you say crack whore, it's like, ooh, that's very... What's pretty abrasive, dude. A I crack head and a crack whore, they'll both suck dick for crack. It's true. I Maybe whore. Cracky? As demeaning as it is, maybe crack whore is the woman term? I guess so. That's pretty sexist. That's uh, quite sexist. But uh, anyways, let's move on to the last one. To finish out this section. Yeah, we got really rambly. But uh, our last song uh, of the main podcast is Nudie with Soulmate. That, of course, is spelled N-U dot D. Like new shoes. I don't get that reference. You don't know who new shoes is? No. I'm gonna play new, new Balance? No, I'm going to play New Shoes, and you're going to know that song. Do I want to know that song? Yeah, you'll know it. He'll know it for sure. Who sings that song? No, New Shoes is the band. Oh, New Shoes is the band. Yeah. Wait, is it a band or a rap? Are it's like an 80s group? group, and their song gets really sampled a lot. But anyways, we're talking about New D. Okay, New D. Uh, with so many, uh, I don't, again, I don't really know much about New D. I've, I've no, seen the name pop up in some of our older lists, um, but I guess I never really liked his songs enough to... Pick it, too pick much up. attention, yeah. Um, but this song is like... There's something about it. Like, here's the thing. I hate autotune. Yeah. Uh, we talked earlier about that GOT7, uh, handy ma, handy ma, handy ma, ma, ma. Like, that's, that uh, song is too much autotune. It's not good. But this song is entirely autotuned. Yeah. Um, but it's autotuned in the... A, it fits, fits the song very well. It's very... It's got a good balance to it. Yeah. And it's not auto-tune, like... I'm, there's a crank. It's not just, like, on and off auto-tune, right? There's a crank of auto-tune where you can make it more electric sounding and less electric sounding, yeah. more obvious, less obvious. It's using auto-tune as an instrument rather than a cover-up for not being able to sing. Yeah. And it allows him to hit these really nice high notes mm -hmm. that sound, re I think, sound really Pretty good. Clean. They sound very quite clean. clean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, yeah it's auto-tune, but, like... You know, there's. I feel like he could hit those notes without without it, yeah. but it, this allows it to be cleaner kind of has and that, per yeah. more perfect. Kind of hits a, a sound that you're not normally used to hearing. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and you know, just like anything, you know, you know, everything can be bad for you if you mm -hmm. use it too much. You know? Yeah, and I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with auto tune, but when it's used badly and when it's used yeah. way too much, like if it's used to cover instead of used as an effect. Yeah. Um, that's bad, but this in this song, it's used as an effect, and I think it's it's I think it's a pretty dang good yeah. song. The only reason yeah. it's not higher on our list is because we didn't really have that much to say about yeah. it, other than like we do check enjoy it out. This, yeah, we do enjoy this song. Uh, the auto tune kind of sound reminds me of like if you I don't know if you guys know, but they had like a really famous single like way back when like Owl City. 
Huh? Yeah, it's a little. Yeah. It's not as poppy. It's a little bit more. Yeah, it's not R and B. It's not as synthy and not as poppy. A little mm -hmm. bit more R and B ish. A little bit more mellow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, it, it, it does the because the Al City guy also uses a fair bit of auto tune. But yeah. again, it's not crazy crazy obvious. Although no. I think the Al City guy is a more obvious than uh, the than UD. Than yeah. But um, it's definitely worth checking out UD Soulmate. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, if you're wondering, oh, we didn't talk about, you know, uh, well, Amber, we didn't talk about uh, uh, Ailey or Gary or, some, you know, or so Fiona, we'll uh, maybe we'll talk about it more in the uh, after show. We'll see. See how um, we feel. But, you know, we didn't really like a lot of them and we didn't want to, you know, we already kind of talked badly about God 7 and we kind of talked a little bit badly about Jesse. And so we didn't want to talk too much. We tried to limit much. the negativity. Yeah. Um, so if you want to know more about them, maybe we'll talk about them in the after show. But yeah. um, you know, or reach us out. You can reach out to us on like Twitter or yeah, or uh, you know. Yeah, I always forget that at the end I should really put in a designated we, spot we have to be social like, media. yeah, like uh, again, remind the people where they can find us, Josh. Yeah. So Stephen is at Twitter handle uh, Twick Stephen, and I am at Twitter handle uh, Twick Josh. And we have a Instagram as well. Steven usually kind of upstate, updates that recently, but I should probably put more pictures on that. I just am not a big Instagrammer, but that's at This Week in K-Pop. And so yeah, you just find us uh, on email. Also email us. Um, this Week in K-Pop. Uh, actually, someone emailed me a really, really good email about, she's like a, she's like a, a new listener and she had recently, she went back in our catalog and mm -hmm. she, um, uh, listen to that Big Bang podcast where I talked about uh, the like, kind of the issues that we had with uh, Bang 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 and about how we got the video taken down because of all the haters oh, like, yeah. with, with the, the chains and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, her name's Anastasia. Ooh, that's Anastasia a sexy name, Anastasia. Vi? V-I-E? Um, so I haven't responded to your email. I got it when I was in Taiwan and I, I totally just blanked on until right now but she emailed us she emailed me a really really nice email of Click like it. you know um, oh that's long yeah it's, it's pretty long but just about how like she i mean of, of course she kind of agreed with me i mean most people haven't taken the time out of their lives to email me a hateful email uh that was just on youtube comments and reddit mm -hmm. um but uh, i'll respond to your email uh today if i can but uh so if you want to reach us by email of course, at this week in K pop or this week in K pop gmail.com. And again, try out Essential K pop. You know, try out our sponsors Drama Fever, uh, Audible. You can find out all those links in all the descriptions. Please check them out. Um, I think that's it for episode 77. Because yeah. this one's a little late, uh, you're going to get uh, you're gonna get episode 78 fairly soon. Yeah. All right. In a so, week and a half. yeah, look forward to that. And of course, check out our after show show. Um, at least for right now, ass, I'm check pretty out sure. Ass. Yeah, check out our ass. We're gonna. I want to talk about uh, Weekly Idol. I want to talk about Unpretty Rap Star because I finally watched the first two episodes. Uh, maybe we'll talk more about some of those music videos that we didn't like. Yep. Um, so check that out if you can. We'll see you guys in a week and a half. Bye, Bye. Mr. Chu Ipsu. I don't know why that song popped. Why was that the song that popped in my head? Hello again, it's No Shower Steven. Uh, once again, we forgot to record these end things, so just woke up making this video for y'all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed part two. Again, it was much, much longer than what we thought it was going to be, um, or else we would have done three parts. But uh, we really want to thank you for reaching all the way to the end of this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to see more. Um, if you liked the video, of course, give it a like. It really helps us out. And of course, leave a comment below with what you think about all the songs that we talked about. And of course, check out our after show. After show is also quite long. Um, it will be uh, released a bit quicker than normal since we recorded this main episode a little later than normal. We want to keep up the schedule so that we can keep up talking with you guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to click there. Make sure to click on me. Make sure to click somewhere. Um, again, apologies for how I look, but we'll see you guys next time. Peace.